Yeah. Very good. Yeah, you play other uh, instrument or uh, no uh, piano and only harmonica. piano. You play piano. No, I, I learned the piano after the harmonica. What is your name? Al. How old are you? Oh, I'm old enough. Or... Senior. Yeah. Yes. It's like any other instrument. Piano is, is easier to learn. Easier. Harmonica to, the harmonica to play well is harder. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing as a black key on the piano. Larry Adler was a Russian Jew, and he's the first one to turn it into a classical musical instrument. He played it in Carnegie Hall. You can get any recordings by Larry Adler. He's dead now. Mm -hmm. he's, he died in 87. I know that uh, in the Second World the soldiers uh, plays yeah. uh, this instrument where uh, oh. Russian songs, Katyusha, sure. are there? Oh, like Russian? a Russian, uh, Russian uh, sailor dance, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of good Russian music. A lot. In fact, some oh, of your of best musicians. Uh, oh. In fact, the one that really was pretty famous on the harmonica was Boromenovich. Mm. He's from Kiev, Kiev, Russia. And, and uh, uh, he had a whole harmonica, classical. You like to go to the concert uh, to listen music? Oh, sure, oh, like yeah. anybody else, yeah. 14 years old. 14 years? Yeah, I learned, uh, I, I saw the Draper and Adler concert, Paul Draper and Larry Adler. Mm -hmm. Larry Adler, the world's greatest harmonica virtuoso. That's mm -hmm. when I got interested. Is your favorite instrument, musical instrument? Yes, it is. It's very... Yeah, the chromatic is. And I, I do play the... Uh, I play the blues, you know, the little, uh, this one here is very nice, you know, and this is, uh, this is great. You know, you got your, it's just a full diatonic scale. It doesn't have the quality yet, but that's, that's a good, good instrument. It's easier to, to play? Well, this is the first one to learn how to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one here is your basic instrument. Because you should never take up a chromatic first. You learn this one first. This is easier. Because you learn like any instrument, the seven tones. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. You know, it's a, see, it's a diatonic scale. So everybody, whatever instrument they're taking, piano or violin or what, you should always learn the diatonic scale first. Then you go to a chromatic. Then you're built around the piano. Thank you very much. Okay. Good luck.